Close your eyes, imagine yourself clicking like, or imagine a time long ago, a time before supermarkets, pharmacies, or even doctors as we know them today. For the ancestors of our past, and indeed for many ancient cultures, the natural world was their lifeline. It provided food, shelter, and crucially medicine. In this world, plants weren't just pretty things to admire. They held the secrets to healing, to protection, and to connecting with the spiritual realm. This knowledge, passed down through generations, was a vital part of daily life. It was a time when the line between medicine and magic was blurred, a time when the natural and the supernatural were intertwined. This deep understanding of plants wasn't limited to a select few. It was a common thread woven through the fabric of society. From the skilled healers who tended to the sick, to the everyday ancient person, going about their day, everyone had a role to play. They understood the power of nature and treated it with respect, recognizing the vital role it played in their lives. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of plants in antiquity and up through our modern times. Discover the secrets they held and the wisdom they offered, unlocking a deeper understanding of our ancestors' connection to the natural world. The ancient cultures might seem an unlikely source of herbal wisdom, yet these ancestors were deeply in tune with the natural world. They understood that survival, both physical and spiritual, depended on it. Their relationship with nature wasn't one of dominance, but of respect and reverence. They recognized the power and potency held within plants, using them not only for healing, but also for spiritual practices and rituals. This holistic approach, embracing both the physical and the unseen, is an example of their wisdom. For the people of past eras, magic wasn't something separate from everyday life. It was woven into the fabric of their existence, and plants played a crucial role in this interplay between the mundane and the mystical. They believed that plants held spirits, energies that could be harnessed for healing, protection and divination. This understanding infused their use of plants with a deeper meaning, transforming them from mere remedies into sacred tools for navigating the challenges of life. It's this blend of practicality and spirituality that makes ancient plant law so fascinating, offering a glimpse into a world where the boundaries between the physical and the metaphysical were fluid. These people's understanding of plants wasn't simply a matter of memorizing which herb treated what ailment. It was a deep, intuitive connection, a dialogue with the natural world. They observed the plants closely, noting their growth patterns, their preferred environments and their subtle energies. This intimate knowledge allowed them to unlock the full potential of each plant, harnessing its unique properties for a wide range of purposes. They understood that plants were more than just the sum of their parts. They were living beings with their own unique spirits and energies. This perspective fostered a sense of respect and reciprocity. The ancient people didn't just take from nature, they gave back, offering thanks and acknowledging the gifts they received. It was a partnership, a harmonious balance between humanity and the natural world. As we journey through the specific plants revered by these cultures, keep this vital connection in mind. It's not just about uncovering ancient remedies, but about rediscovering a way of being, a way of relating to nature that is both respectful and empowering. By tapping into this ancient wisdom, we can begin to heal our own relationship with the natural world, embracing the power and potential it holds for us today. Our journey into Viking Age botany begins with yarrow, a plant as resilient as the warriors who revered it. Known for its feathery leaves and delicate white flowers, yarrow is a powerhouse of healing. For Vikings, yarrow symbolized survival, courage, and the warrior spirit. Just as Vikings conquered new lands, Yarrow thrived in harsh conditions. Yarrow was an indispensable ally, providing healing and protection in battle. Yarrow's reputation as a powerful healer extends far beyond the battlefield, woven into the fabric of folk medicine traditions across the globe. Its very name derived from the Anglo-Saxon word gearwi, meaning to prepare or make ready, speaks to its versatility and preparedness to address a wide range of ailments. From ancient Greece to the Americas, 
Yarrow has been a steadfast ally in the pursuit of health and well-being, its healing touch passed down through generations of traditional knowledge. The plant's Latin name, Achillea millifolium, offers further clues to its medicinal prowess. Achillea, as mentioned earlier, pays homage to the Greek hero Achilles, forever linking Yarrow to the art of healing wounds. Millifolium, meaning thousand leaves, refers to Yarrow's finely divided leaves, which seem to multiply endlessly, a testament to its abundant healing properties. These delicate leaves, when crushed, release a potent cocktail of chemical compounds that work in synergy to promote healing. Among these are flavonoids known for their antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects, and alkaloids which possess pain-relieving properties. Yarrow also contains tannins, astringent compounds that help to stop bleeding and promote tissue repair. This unique combination of constituents makes yarrow a true multitasker in the realm of herbal medicine. It has been traditionally used to treat a wide range of conditions, from cuts, scrapes and burns to digestive complaints, fevers and even colds and flu. Its versatility and effectiveness have earned it a place of honor in herbal apothecaries and home medicine cabinets for centuries. For the Vikings, Yarrow's most celebrated use was undoubtedly its ability to stop bleeding and promote wound healing. On the battlefield, where injuries were commonplace, having a reliable means to staunch the flow of blood could mean the difference between life and death. Yarrow, with its potent astringent and clotting properties, quickly became an essential part of the Viking warrior's toolkit, a natural first aid kit carried into the heart of battle but Yarrow's benefits extended far beyond simply stopping bleeding. Its anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties helped to prevent infection, a constant threat in the days before antibiotics. The crushed leaves, applied directly to wounds, created a protective barrier, drawing out impurities and promoting the growth of healthy tissue. Yarrow's effectiveness in treating wounds was likely known to the Vikings through observation and experience, passed down through generations of traditional knowledge. They would have witnessed firsthand how the application of yarrow could quickly staunch bleeding, reduce inflammation and promote healing. This empirical evidence, combined with their respect for the natural world, solidified yarrow's place as a vital part of their healing practices. Today, while we may not face the same dangers as Viking warriors, yarrow's wound healing properties remain relevant it can be used to treat minor cuts, scrapes and burns, offering a natural and effective way to promote healing and prevent infection. Whether applied as a poultice, infused in oil, or incorporated into salves and balms, yarrow offers its healing touch. This points to the enduring wisdom of our ancestors. Beyond its physical healing properties, Yarrow held a special place in Viking culture for its perceived magical and spiritual attributes. For a people deeply connected to the unseen world, plants were not merely sources of medicine. They were also seen as vessels of spiritual energy, capable of influencing fate, offering protection, and enhancing intuition. Yarrow, with its long history of use in magic and ritual, was believed to possess a potent energy that could be harnessed for a variety of purposes. One of Yarrow's most prominent magical associations was its ability to ward off negativity and protect against harm. The Vikings, who faced many dangers both at sea and on land, sought out Yarrow's protective energy to shield them from misfortune. They believed that carrying Yarrow on their person or hanging it in their homes could deflect curses, banish evil spirits, and bring good luck. This belief in Yarrow's protective power is echoed in various folk traditions around the world. In some cultures, Yarrow was hung over doorways to prevent negativity from entering the home, while in others, it was carried as an amulet to ward off the evil eye. This widespread belief in Yarrow's protective abilities speaks to a deep-seated human desire to seek solace and security in the natural world to find allies in the plant kingdom that can offer a sense of safety and well-being. For the Vikings, Yarrow's protective energy was not merely a matter of superstition. It was an integral part of their spiritual worldview, a way of connecting with the unseen forces that governed their lives. By embracing Yarrow's protective qualities, they sought to navigate the challenges of their world, knowing that they had a powerful ally by their side. Beyond the battlefield, 
Yarrow's significance in Viking culture extended beyond the battlefield, reflecting its versatility. Its delicate flowers were believed to enhance intuition, promote love, and foretell the future. One intriguing use was in love divination, where maidens plucked petals to reveal their future love. Yarrow under a pillow was thought to induce prophetic dreams, offering guidance from the divine. From wound healing to dream work, Yarrow played a vital role in Viking life. As we delve deeper into the Viking herb garden, we encounter another botanical marvel, Angelica. This stately plant, with its towering height and clusters of delicate greenish-white flowers, commands attention. Known for its aromatic roots and seeds, Angelica has a long and storied history. The Vikings embraced Angelica for healing, protection and spiritual exploration. Derived from the Greek word angelos, meaning angel, Angelica was believed to possess divine qualities. Legend has it that the archangel Michael revealed Angelica's properties as a remedy for the plague. For the Vikings, Angelica's protective energy was a source of comfort and reassurance. Carrying Angelica or hanging it in their homes was thought to create a protective barrier. They believed the plant's protective energy filled their home, keeping them safe from harm. Angelica was not merely a medicinal plant, but a spiritual guardian, a symbol of hope and resilience. Angelica's power lies in its protective energy and potent medicinal properties, concentrated in its aromatic roots. These roots, unearthed in autumn, hold beneficial compounds valued for centuries in traditional medicine. Angelica's versatility as a healing herb is a testament to nature's ability to provide for our well-being. The root contains bitter compounds that stimulate digestive juices, aiding in the breakdown of food and reducing symptoms such as bloating and indigestion. It also possesses antispasmodic properties, helping to relax the muscles of the digestive tract and relieve cramps. Beyond its digestive benefits, Angelica is also a potent immune-boosting herb, stimulating the production of white blood cells. Imagine a Viking healer preparing a decoction of Angelica root for a patient, invoking the plant's healing energy to restore balance and vitality. For the Vikings, the line between the physical and spiritual worlds was often blurred, and Angelica's uses reflected this interconnectedness. They believed that illness was not merely a physical ailment, but often a sign of spiritual imbalance or negative energies at play. Angelica was seen as a powerful tool for banishing negativity, restoring spiritual harmony, and inviting in positive energies. The Vikings believed that burning Angelica root could clear negative energies from a space, creating a sacred and harmonious environment. They would use Angelica smoke to cleanse their homes, their sacred spaces, and even themselves before rituals or important events. Carrying Angelica root on their person or wearing it as an amulet, was thought to ward off the evil eye, deflect curses, and attract good luck. Imagine a Viking warrior preparing for battle, attaching a small pouch of Angelica root to his belt, believing in the plant's protective energy. Angelica's protective energy was believed to extend to the home and family, creating a sanctuary of peace and well-being. The Vikings incorporated Angelica into their daily lives, weaving its protective embrace into the fabric of their homes and traditions. One common practice was to hang bunches of dried Angelica above doorways and windows, creating a symbolic barrier against negative energies and malevolent spirits. The plant's strong aromatic presence served as a constant reminder of its protective embrace, offering comfort and reassurance. Placing Angelica root in a bowl on the table or near the hearth was thought to attract abundance, health and happiness. Imagine a Viking family returning home after a long journey, greeted by the comforting aroma of Angelica, believing in its protective energy. As we conclude our exploration of Angelica, we are struck by its multifaceted nature, encompassing both practical healing properties and profound spiritual significance. From its ability to soothe digestive ailments and boost immunity to its reputation as a protector against negativity and a guardian of the home, Angelica's enduring legacy is a testament to the profound connection between humans and the natural world. While our understanding of plants may have evolved, Angelica's ability to heal, protect and inspire continues to resonate with us today.
Angelica's legacy extends far beyond the Viking Age, its use is woven into the fabric of various cultures and traditions around the world. From its inclusion in traditional Chinese medicine, to its use in European folk remedies, Angelica continues to be valued for its versatility and effectiveness. By rediscovering the wisdom of traditional plant lore, we open ourselves to a deeper understanding of our place in the web of life. Our journey into the ancient world of plants continues, focusing on three unique herbs, St. John's wort, nettle and thyme. Each one, though distinct in appearance and use, shares a common thread with the ancient spirit of healing well-being and a connection to the natural world. These herbs, readily found growing wild across the many different territories, offered more than just physical remedies. They provided a sense of spiritual connection. Imagine an ancient home, filled with the scents of drying herbs hung from the rafters. The sharp, earthy aroma of nettle mixes with the sweet, lemony scent of St. John's wort and the warm, pungent fragrance of thyme. This aromatic blend is more than just a pleasant fragrance. It's a show of the deep understanding of the power of plants. Let us now explore the individual stories of these three remarkable herbs, uncovering their traditional uses, folklore, and enduring relevance. St. John's wort, a plant with bright yellow star-shaped flowers, holds a prominent place in herbal traditions around the world. Its name, a nod to St. John the Baptist, whose feast day falls near the summer solstice when the plant is in full bloom, hints at its association with light and warmth. For our ancestors who endured long, dark winters, St. John's wort symbolized hope and the promise of brighter days ahead. St. John's wort was revered for its ability to banish darkness on multiple levels. Traditionally, the plant was used to treat wounds, burns and skin irritations, its soothing properties bringing relief to damaged tissues. However, it was St. John's wort's reputation for lifting the spirits and calming the mind that truly made it a prized herb. Known for its ability to soothe anxiety, ease sadness and promote restful sleep, St. John's wort was likely used to combat the melancholy of long, dark winter months. Imagine a woman gathering St. John's wort on a sunny summer day knowing it holds the power to chase away the darkness. Nettle, with its serrated leaves and infamous sting, might seem like an unlikely candidate for a beloved herb. However, people recognized that beneath nettle's prickly exterior lay a wealth of nutrients and healing properties. This duality, the ability to both harm and heal, made nettle a powerful symbol of protection. Rich in iron, calcium and other essential nutrients, nettle was often consumed as a spring tonic, replenishing the body after the long winter months. Its leaves, once cooked or dried to neutralize the sting, could be added to soups, stews or simply eaten as a cooked green. The plant was also used medicinally to treat a variety of ailments, from skin conditions to joint pain. Imagine a Viking warrior returning from battle, seeking solace in a steaming bath infused with nettle leaves. Thyme, a small, unassuming herb with tiny, fragrant leaves, might seem an unlikely symbol of courage. Yet, for the people of the past, who valued bravery and resilience, thyme held a special place in their hearts and homes. They believed that thyme possessed protective qualities, capable of warding off negativity and attracting good fortune. They would hang bunches of thyme in their homes to purify the air, believing that its aromatic essence could dispel illness and misfortune. Thyme was also used in rituals and ceremonies, its smoke believed to carry prayers and offerings to the gods. Imagine a warrior preparing for a perilous journey tucking a sprig of thyme into his pocket for protection and courage. As we conclude our exploration of St. John's wort, nettle and thyme, we're reminded that the wisdom of the past can continue to offer guidance and healing in the present. These three herbs, each with its unique properties and folklore, offer a glimpse into a time when humans lived in closer harmony with the natural world. Today, as we navigate the complexities of modern life, these ancient remedies can provide a sense of grounding. Whether we choose to incorporate St. John's wort nettle or thyme into our lives through herbal teas, culinary creations, or simply by appreciating their beauty in the wild, these plants offer a tangible link to the wisdom of our ancestors. 
By rediscovering the traditional uses of these herbs, we can begin to reclaim our own connection to the natural world, embrace the healing power of plants and the timeless wisdom they hold. As we journey into the ancient herb garden, we encounter three calming plants, chamomile, mugwort, and juniper. These botanical allies offered the Vikings solace and spiritual insight. Picture a village at twilight, filled with the aroma of chamomile. Mugwort smoke rises carrying prayers to the heavens, and a juniper tree stands tall, symbolizing strength and protection. These plants calmed the mind, soothed the spirit, and connected with the unseen realms. Chamomile, with its delicate, daisy-like flowers and apple-scented aroma, offers solace and comfort across cultures and generations. Chamomile was a soothing ally, a balm for body and soul. Its calming effects made it a staple in homes, easing stress and promoting sleep. Think of a woman preparing chamomile tea, its aroma filling the house with peace. As she sips, she feels its calming embrace, easing tension and quieting her mind. Chamomile's gentle nature made it a remedy for all ages. In a world of hardship, chamomile reminded them of nature's healing power. Mugwort, with its silvery green leaves and pungent aroma, has long been associated with magic and dreams. For the people of days gone by, mugwort was sacred, used for divination and spiritual exploration. Imagine a Viking seer inhaling mugwort smoke, seeking guidance from the gods. Mugwort enhanced intuition and connection to the Divine Feminine. Its presence in rituals added magic and mystery, creating a sacred space. Juniper Cleansing Fire – Protective Spirit Juniper, with its evergreen needles and aromatic berries, held a place of honor in the ancient world. Its sharp, cleansing aroma reminded them of the forces that guarded their homes and health. Burning juniper branches as incense was believed to dispel illness and purify the air. Juniper berries added a distinctive taste to cuisine and had medicinal properties. Juniper's evergreen nature captured enduring life. As we conclude our look at the herbs chamomile, mugwort and juniper, we're reminded that the wisdom of the past can continue to guide us on our own journeys of healing and self-discovery. While our world may seem vastly different from that of the ancients, our connection to the natural world and our innate desire for healing, solace, and spiritual connection remain unchanged. These three plants, each with its unique gifts and stories to tell, offer a glimpse into a time when humans lived in closer harmony with the rhythms of nature, relying on plants for sustenance, medicine, and spiritual guidance. Today, as we navigate the complexities of modern life, these ancient remedies can provide a sense of grounding, reminding us of the simple yet profound ways in which nature can support our well-being. Whether we choose to sip a soothing cup of chamomile tea, explore the realm of dreams with mugwort or cleanse our homes with the purifying aroma of juniper, these plants offer us a link to the wisdom of our ancestors. By rediscovering the traditional uses of these herbs and incorporating them into our own lives, we can begin to reclaim our own connection to the natural world and the healing power of plants. As we learn to listen to the whispers of the ancients, we open ourselves to a better understanding of ourselves, our place in the web of life, and the infinite possibilities for healing and transformation that reside within the natural world. As we've journeyed through the herbal world of a few plants, you might feel inspired to incorporate some of this ancient wisdom into your own life. However, it's crucial to approach this practice with a blend of respect for tradition and modern-day caution. Consult with a qualified healthcare professional before using any plant medicinally. This information is solely for entertainment purposes. Always check with your doctor. By blending ancient wisdom with modern safety, we honor our ancestors while ensuring our well-being. Incorporating ancient age plant wisdom into your life doesn't necessarily require radical lifestyle changes or elaborate rituals. Sometimes, the simplest approach is the most effective and enjoyable. Start by introducing these plants gradually, paying attention to your body's response and adjusting your usage accordingly. Remember, these plants have been used for centuries, their gentle yet powerful properties unfolding over time. One of the easiest and most enjoyable ways to experience the benefits of these ancient herbs is through herbal teas. Chamomile, known for its calming properties, can be enjoyed before bedtime to promote relaxation and restful sleep. 
Nettle, rich in vitamins and minerals, makes a nourishing spring tonic, while a cup of thyme tea can soothe a cough or sore throat. Experiment with different combinations, allowing the flavors and aromas to transport you back to a time when life was simpler and the rhythms of nature guided daily life. You can also incorporate these plants into your culinary creations. Add a handful of chopped nettle to soups or stews for a nutritional boost, or use thyme to flavor roasted meats or vegetables. Juniper berries, with their sharp piney flavor, can be used to season game meats or added to marinades and sauces. Get creative in the kitchen, allowing the flavors of these ancient plants to awaken your palate and connect you to the culinary traditions of your ancestors. Remember the key is to start slowly, paying attention to your body's response to each plant. Keep a journal to track your experiences, noting any changes in your physical, mental or emotional well-being. By approaching these ancient remedies with a gentle touch and a spirit of curiosity, you can rediscover the healing power of nature and incorporate it into your life in a way that feels both authentic and empowering. While simply enjoying a cup of chamomile tea or adding a sprig of thyme to your dinner can be deeply satisfying. Rituals transform the mundane into something sacred, offering purpose and connection. Create a ritualistic experience to honor these plants and invite their energy into your life. This doesn't have to be complicated or time-consuming. Approach with an open heart and reverence to experience the transformative power of these ancient remedies. Connecting with the spirit of the plants. In the ancient worldview, plants were living beings with their own spirits and consciousness. Connecting with the spirit of the plants involves cultivating a relationship with them. Approach them with humility and gratitude, recognizing them as allies and teachers. This practice can be deeply personal and transformative. Resources for the modern herbalist. As you embark on your exploration of botanicals and their uses, you'll likely find yourself eager to learn more. Fortunately, we live in a time when information is more accessible than ever before. There are countless resources available to help you deepen your understanding of herbalism, from ancient texts to modern scientific studies, from experienced herbalists to online communities of plant enthusiasts. Start by exploring your local library or bookstore. Look for books on herbalism, ethnobotany, the study of the relationship between people and plants, and traditional medicine. Many excellent resources cover the specific plants used by the ancient cultures, and all the sources used in this video will be provided in the description below the video, which will provide insights into their history, folklore, and medicinal applications. You might also enjoy reading about the history of herbalism itself, tracing its roots back to ancient cultures around the world, and gaining a deeper appreciation for the long and storied relationship between humans and plants. The internet offers a wealth of information on herbalism, but it's important to be discerning about your sources. Look for reputable websites, blogs and online communities run by experienced herbalists, botanists or other qualified professionals. Be wary of websites that make unsubstantiated claims or promote products without proper scientific backing. Connecting with other herbal enthusiasts can also be incredibly enriching. Look for local herb walks, workshops or classes where you can learn from experienced practitioners and share your knowledge with others. Online forums and social media groups can also provide a sense of community and support as you delve deeper into the world of herbalism. Remember, learning about plants is an ongoing journey, one that's best shared with others who share your passion for the natural world and its healing potential. There are also apps available to help you identify plants. A journey through time, a return to our roots. As we conclude our exploration of the medicinal and magical plants cherished by the cultures of long ago, we realize that this journey extends far beyond the pages of history books or the flickering flames of a long ago hearth. It's a journey that leads us back to our own roots, to a time when humans lived in closer harmony with the rhythms of nature relying on plants for sustenance, healing and spiritual connection. These cultures, with their deep reverence for the natural world, understood that true strength lay not in dominance, but in recognizing the interconnectedness of all things. They saw the plants as allies, teachers and protectors, 
their lives intertwined with the ebb and flow of the seasons, the cycles of growth and decay, and the enduring power of the earth to heal and sustain. This ancient wisdom, passed down through generations, still holds relevance for us today. In a world increasingly dominated by technology, where the pace of life can feel relentless, the plants offer us a sanctuary, a reminder to slow down, to breathe deeply, and to reconnect with the simple yet profound rhythms of the natural world. As we've discovered, the plants used weren't just primitive remedies, they were powerful allies, each with its own unique story to tell, its own gifts to share, and its own lessons to teach. From the soothing embrace of chamomile to the visionary whispers of mugwort, from the protective embrace of angelica to the cleansing fire of juniper, these plants offered the people a way to navigate the challenges of their world, both seen and unseen. Embrace the herbalist spirit and unearth your inner nature path. Embark on your own exploration of the plant world. Connect with plants in your backyard or local park. Notice their shapes, colors and aromas. Learn their names and traditional uses. Grow your own herbs and create a sanctuary of healing. Brew chamomile tea as the sun sets. Deepen your relationship with plants and discover self-discovery. Trust in their healing power. Like, subscribe and share this video. Let us know which plant resonated with you. Check out our Etsy shop for unique handcrafted items. The link will be in the description below. Keep exploring and keep the spirit of adventure alive.